Structured snippets are one of the assets that are only available for the search network. So in this video, we want to show you what these look like in the wild. Then we will also show you how to set them up in a variety of levels within your account. We'll show you the headline options that are available. And also, if you don't like this asset, they still could be running within your account. So we'll show you what I mean by that and how to turn them off. We're going to start off this video within the Pay Media Pros demo account, but at the very end, we are going to switch to an actual client account. First, I'm going to show you where structured snippets will live. These are considered an ad asset. Assets were formerly known as ad extensions. Within the new interface, you can see it off to the left. We see a section for assets. Expand this down, and there's our assets option. Now, depending on what you have set up in your account, you might not have all these options, so it could live in a different place really not a lot to choose from so it should be easy enough for you to find a structured snippet if this is your first time setting up this asset it's easy enough to go to the blue plus button click on it and then you can start creating your first structured snippet let me pause this so it stops moving on me but as we start creating some options we can look at a few examples of how it may look by default your first snippet will be added to the account level but it's not the only level where you can add this specific asset moving over to the drop down snippets can be added at the account campaign or ad group levels. If you have a pretty generic snippet idea that really covers any search campaign that you'll ever create within your account or the vast majority of them, leave it at the account level. It's a good safety net. If you add your structured snippets at the campaign level, any campaign level assets will get priority and override anything shown at the account level just for those specific campaigns. So essentially it will show for every ad group within the campaign that you're adding it to. I show the option right here you can choose it select your campaign or campaigns yes you can select more than one hit done and now we know up here this snippet would only apply to this specific search campaign or you can go even deeper and select the ad group level now i'm not sure if any of our search campaigns actually have multiple ad groups since we just use this for video demos let's try one more yeah well not really working let's just say this campaign had multiple ad groups select the one ad group and then Whatever snippet we would create would only apply to this one ad group. It would override anything set up at the campaign level, and it would take priority over anything at the account level. The deeper you go within the campaign structure hierarchy, the higher priority that specific asset will get. So as I mentioned before, at least set one up at the account level. Really covers everything within your business. It's a good safety net. And then go down to the campaign level. Based upon the options we're about to look at, see if you can find anything that's more specific to the particular campaign. Do you think the option that you're gonna create at the campaign level will have a better connection because you can potentially be a little bit more specific or speak better to what the campaign is offering? And then after that, go down to the ad group level. I see it so many times in an account where they just have one structured snippet created and instead of putting it at the account level, they just copy and paste it at the campaign level for every single campaign. I don't know why you want to do that. It's kind of a waste of time. You can still review your snippets at the campaign level, even though it's set up at the account level. And then you probably run into this situation before where it just takes your Google ads editor forever to load because there's so many different pieces to it. So if you're just copying and pasting the same thing over and over through dozens to hundreds of different campaigns or ad group level thing, make a really clog loading time. So in this case, I'm just going to go back and do account level and we'll stick with creating a new one. But as you can see, if you're coming back, creating new campaigns, new ad groups, you do have the option to use an existing asset. If it's already there, select the options that you have, and then you can attach it to whatever level you want to. But when I clicked on use existing, you probably saw one of the header options. But here is everything that Google offers. And you are quickly gonna see that there, one, aren't many options. Two, many of the options are very specific to certain industries. Several of our client accounts don't use structured snippets because they really don't have a header that really fits with what they're trying to sell. Or the snippet just doesn't make sense for their business. So we have amenities, brands, courses, degree programs. So this one is essentially for higher ed accounts, destinations for travel companies, featured hotels, pretty straightforward, insurance coverage, very specific. Models could be a little bit more broad. You know, the first thing that jumps in your head is cars. We have had dealership accounts use this. However, there are so many products that use models. This could be used in a few separate ways. If you're in the service industry and your offerings are in specific neighborhoods that you serve, you can let users know where you conduct your business. Service catalog, what types of services do you provide? It could fit several industries there. Showtimes for either movie theaters, concert venues, 
festivals. Styles of product, much more universal, and what we saw in the other example, types. I'd say the, probably the most common one we use, even if we try to make it fit just to get another asset in there, would be styles and types. You can usually make a lot of things work. Another common one would be brands. If you are a parent company with multiple brands, that's another option as well. But primarily we have used brands for retailer clients, and that is one where we can get a lot more specific from the campaign and ad group level. Depends on how you're structuring your account. So let's pretend we are a retail company. Maybe at the account level, I'd wanna showcase some of the brands. Hopefully the preview remains paused, but I'm gonna highlight the section here. This is just one way how your structured snippet asset could appear. Over the past few years, we've really seen Google make structured snippets blend in a lot more with the ad descriptions. I'm gonna to try to go to actual Google results so you can see what I mean. But the section I'm highlighting here is where we're gonna see the structured snippet possibly within one of the ad results. Let me actually fill in the values first. There we go, you can see each value is limited to 25 characters. I'm continuing to click, 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 and I can continue to add more. Now in the support section for structured snippets, Google mentions you have to enter at least three, three values, I should say. But they also recommend that you should use four. I personally try to keep it between three to five. I haven't found any particular reason like, oh, four is totally the best. It works the best every time. Because sometimes we do see things cut off. As you see, I just added a few more values and it maxes out at 10. I have never filled all this in because Google is really not going to show all 10 of them. I'd rather guarantee for testing purposes that what I enter is actually being seen by the user. So let me go ahead and quickly X out of all the values I'm not actually using, and then I'm gonna save it. So I just mentioned testing. Just like you wanna test your ad copy, hopefully you're considering ways that you can test your ad assets too. And of course, we're talking about structured snippets. So let's go ahead and create another structured snippet. So for this example, I use brands. Maybe for one test, you'd wanna choose brands again, but select different options. Maybe trying to see which brand names are actually gonna make people stop and click on the ad or lead to more conversions. Maybe you'll find out that brands isn't always the priority. Maybe you wanna look at styles of clothing for this particular example. I know I'm sticking with just retail, but maybe you need to test out different services. If you don't have a variety of services to offer, maybe the order that you're listing these values in make a difference. Not sure where Google's gonna cut things off, so prioritizing different values first have a better chance of them guaranteeing that the user actually sees them or they're actually shown within the ad. It may seem like a silly test, but it is something we have definitely tested within accounts. Because just like most ad assets, they're never guaranteed to show. The one that pretty much gets most of the love is gonna be your site link extensions. Leads to more clicks, you can send them to specific pages, they take up much more real estate. Structured snippets, they don't always show, and as we see in the example, they really blend in with the ad copy. So finding any little nuance that you can test to try to find those little wins to improve performance can be helpful. For this, I'll just pick styles. I don't know, this doesn't really make sense. I just needed to fill something in there. So if I just go ahead and save this, now within this pretend account, we are testing these two structured snippets at the account level. And as you can see, when we're in the assets section, we get a variety of columns that we can use to see are they helping our search ads in terms of engagement, click-through rate, but of course, sliding over, you can add your conversion columns too. Let's actually go to columns. There, if you have your custom columns, made your own formulas, importing other stuff in there, you can add those to the mix. But here we see the column options we get. Performance and conversions, pretty standard. I cancel out of that. But I would say try to get at least two for every level that you're using snippets. And in terms of testing, since I mentioned our structured snippets really don't get the same amount of impressions as something like a site link or a call extension does, I tend to come back to structured snippet extensions about once a quarter to really look at performance. I want more volume there to see how they're actually performing. Unless I see a clear dud. Let's look at some examples here. Okay, here's one for Cole's department store. I'm gonna highlight the structured snippet. Notice how it blends in immediately right after the descriptions. So this one had the header of types and it looks like pretty much a bunch of product categories. Now I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Spoiler alert. These seem like some pretty random product categories for a branded search. My guess is a human didn't select these. Remember what I just said. We're gonna close out the video with that. Let me pull up another example. Typed in Fender guitars, and in this case, the header is models. Look how many values we're seeing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six values in there. But again, also blends in with the description. I'm also seeing it's right after call out extensions. Free shipping. Shop now, 
I could keep searching for other examples, but we have a couple there. So we head back to the account. There we see our multiple assets. While we didn't see an example of this in the two I just showed you, having multiple structured snippets created can be helpful. Google can show up to two structured snippets at a time. Whether they show just one out of your options, or if you have several created and two show, Google's algorithm is gonna control what they feel would be best to show. So in this case, in the example I created, that's why we try to have things that are a little bit different. That's why when we first start testing, we wanna to try to have structured snippets that are as different as possible. But fully understand, depending on how niche your industry is, it could be difficult to do. Just do the best you can. Now, going back to that Kohl's example, I am guessing, I can't prove it, but that looked like a snippet that Google created for Kohl's. And that is possible because Google has automatically created assets. And if you're fairly new to Google Ads, there's a chance that they're running in your account right now and you don't even know it. I'm gonna show you where to find them, but first I need to hop into an actual client account. Okay, I'm in this client's asset view, same view we were on the Pay Mini Pros demo account, but next to these header options here, find the More Options button. Here you will see account level automated assets. A couple things. If you don't see dynamic structured snippets in here, then they're not showing within your account. And there really isn't anything else you need to do. I also had to pull this account as all time because we turned these off a long time ago, hence the legacy status. But we did notice that up to that point when we did review it, don't remember exactly when it was, this account spent over $1,300 with no conversions. So by the time we were invited into the account, got to take a look and caught it, it really wasn't doing much. And I could say that because all we had to do was just go back into the main assets section, compare how manually created structure snippets were performing compared to Google's automated assets. Yes, the conversions piece was a no brainer when you see a zero, but we can also look at ad engagement. Was it even helping just the overall ad click through rate? In this case, it wasn't. So it was a pretty easy decision to turn this off. And if you wanna turn off any automated assets, whether it's structured snippets or any of your other ad assets within this view, I believe you can go to the more section and look at advanced settings, but just come over here to this tab, account level automated assets settings. See, we already have it turned off within our account. So let's just pretend this one is our structured snippets. Really is the same thing no matter what. Choose your option. You can select turn off. You have to choose a reason why, otherwise I won't let you save it. So in this case, I would save it, but not for this client. They wanna leave callouts on. But that's our run through on Google Ads structured snippets. Even if you don't see the perfect header option for your business, try to see if you can make something fit. And then work on coming up with different variations so you can continue to test snippets within your account. Sometimes a simple tweak in one of your snippet variations can help improve performance. I'm not saying it's gonna double your click through rate by any means, but this is definitely an area where we still get full control over what we wanna include. And I'm gonna utilize that control as much as possible until Google takes it away. If you have any other questions on structured snippets, or you want to share how they've worked within your account, let everyone know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.